To me, mathematics opens doors. If a student is strong at math, that's great. They could do engineering, physics, all sorts of different things. I'm Jack Kelcutt, Associate Professor of Mathematics here at Oberlin College. Sometimes it's not the specific material that I'm concerned about the most, but it's logical thinking with the material at hand, how to apply tools to solve problems, how to get the main idea of a proof or an argument, even if I couldn't write down the, the technical proof. So I try to tell students that there are two main things, get the core idea of an argument, and then be able to write it down in, in math ease or notation. Across the spectrum, I notice that there is a very wide range of background for the students coming in. Some students have not seen any of the concepts, maybe complex numbers are completely new. Then I try to relate to the students with more advanced background while also presenting things that simple enough with the core idea to, to reach the other students as well. The advanced students are as advanced as any students I've seen, and I still find that the students that aren't math majors are still interested. If I can present it in an interesting way, try to lure them in, that they still care about it. This is uh, made out of oak, and it demonstrates what's known as Ailes rectangle, and these are special triangles that fit together in a way to make a rectangle that let you solve for a 1575-90 triangle. This is a cone, which is a disc, that you wind up and the lines that may be difficult to see on these here the these are geodesics but if, if you flatten this this cone here for example you get a disc with straight lines but then you wrap it up into a cone you see like these two points on the cone have two geodesics between them. I make these cutouts and I bring them into class in geometry so that students can actually experiment and play around with these cones themselves to study the geometry of curved spaces. When you see it and hold it, you can see the different dimensions, the depth. Um, it's something I think then that you remember and understand much better than if a person tries to picture a three-dimensional object drawn as a two-dimensional projection on a two-dimensional board. So just that, the, the physical handling of it, I think is something that you remember better. So I think it's a more lasting understanding, a deeper understanding.